Many people have allowed their systems to be hijacked. What do I mean by this? We're not meant to be eating as much food as we're eating most of us in the West. This is why obesity and people having health problems is through the roof. A lot of food that's being made for people is meant to make people healthy, but a lot of this food's actually making people ill. I've tried many different diets in my life and the diet that works for me, and I know works for many others, is the carnivore diet. I eat till I'm full, and I basically only just eat meat and eggs and have water, and I'll season the meat and the eggs. And I don't have inflammation in my joints like I used to. I don't have all this pain. I don't have all this emotional irregulation as well. Because people don't understand when they're eating all these carbs, processed foods, and all this sugar, you're getting this hit, this dopamine hit to the brain, and your brain then has to try and climb to get that some other way. Satan's made this system where he's rewired people through food, through music, through worldly video games and programs on TV and online and whatever, and people have been totally changed. So loads of young men and women, they're watching pornography, they're constantly needing this new rush, and it has them living by the flesh. And then I see it in the church where you have loads of people who are still in this system, this matrix, so if, if you wanna call it that, and they are slaves to the flesh. And whatever we make ourselves slaves to, that is who is our master. We're only meant to have one master, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ. And then to follow Christ, we have to deny ourselves, pick up our crosses daily and follow him. This means we can't be living by the flesh. We are led by the Holy Spirit. And there are fruits of the Holy Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such there is no law. So many people are allowing their eyes, their ears, whatever, their, their mouths, these are gates to the body, their noses. If people are snorting drugs and inhaling things that aren't good for them, you're allowing your body, which is a temple, the gates thereof, to be defiled. This is why so many people are emotionally unstable, spiritually unstable, watching porn all the time, chasing men, chasing women, chasing cheap thrills, even though they feel rubbish after it and they feel like they can't go any other way. What is the way out? Repenting of your sins, metanoia, the changing of your mind, turning from your sins, humbling yourself before the Lord, prayer, fasting, and studying your Bible, spending time with God, understanding his personality. He's the only friend that any of us will ever truly have forever. He was the only friend that we had whilst we were still sinners. He's still sent his son to die for us. People need to listen to this. People need to take their life seriously and understand you do not have to be walking around anxious and depressed and lonely and subject to circumstance your whole life. The Lord has made it by his Holy Spirit through the perfect sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ, his death, burial and resurrection for people to walk in a newness of life. That all these former things, all these traumas, all these other things that people have made their identity, have made their story and their victim complex, you don't need to live like that anymore. But if you're not actually going to take God seriously, God's not going to go into any house where he's not welcome. But if you take a step towards him, he'll take three steps towards you. If you open your door, he'll open his. We have to invite him in. And if we invite him in, it says he will come and he'll eat with us. This is the Lord Jesus Christ. He will literally come and eat with us. He'll give you that attention, that affection, that appreciation that no one else has ever given you and no one else can give you. And there's nothing greater than this. Everything else is just a terrible, terrible imitation and lie. People don't need to be overweight. People don't need to be the way they are. God has made the way. Please share this to whoever you are led to. I've seen the Lord change my life doing 40 day fasts, sorry, fasts, fastings, and other things in my life. I have a YouTube channel. I'm not here to promote myself, but the Lord's put loads of messages on my heart through TikTok, through YouTube. And many people are walking in pain that Christ has actually paid for them to be free from. So please check it out if you're led. Please share these videos if you're led. Because I've seen God bring me out of over 10 years of suicidal depression, nearly 15 years in fact, as well as PTSD, 
pornography addiction and other things like that. God bless in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.